Mohamed Salah's biggest secrets are finally open. From almost flopping in the Premier League to becoming a worldwide hero, these are 10 things you didn't know about Mohamed Salah. And to start off, instead of shooting balls, Salah could have been shooting RPGs. <laughs> Your story is extraordinary. How have you reached the top? See, way back at the start of his career, Sala was just a talented young baller looking to make his name in the game until something happened that almost ruined his dream. According to Egyptian law, only students are allowed to skip military training, and Sala knew that. But my man didn't fancy skipping ropes and shooting guns, so he came up with a super crazy hack to beat the system. Salah got into an educational program in Egypt, but pretty soon, Salah realized he couldn't keep up with going pro and hitting the books. So, he canceled his degree, and that's when the Egyptian military dropped the bomb. Mandatory military service. Damn! Luckily for Salah, just as he was packing his bags and preparing for his new career as a soldier, the military decided they'd grant him special permission to skip because of his amazing record for the national team. Can you imagine that instead of scoring goals, my man could have been shooting headshots? Boom headshot! Boom headshot! Boom headshot! But I'm pretty sure the military wouldn't have been so tough for Salah. And it's all because of one special reason. See, unlike most ballers, when Salah was growing up, he had to work extremely hard. He decided to open up about his experience as a kid, and the stuff he said? was shocking. Four and a half hours or five and a half every day? No, just one way. So nine hours a day. And uh, I need to change like four transport, yeah. like cars. Yeah. One car for half an hour, another car for two and a half, the way back the same. I had nothing to do, nothing else to do. Just I'm playing football. I love to yeah. play football. I, it was my life. Whoa, the dude legit spent nine hours a day training. No wonder he looks ripped. Now in training, it wasn't straightforward for some. I mean, he's one of the best wingers in the world now, but back then, it was a completely different story. Yep, he was a defender. In Salah's first club, Al Mokaloun, Salah had to earn his way to the top. And even though he had the skills, the coaches made him start at left back to develop his game. But after tapping ankles and speeding past defenders, the coaches decided there was no way he'd stay there. So they moved him up front and he became a sensation. And after two amazing years at Al Mokalu, Salah finally made the switch to Europe, balled out at Basel, and another big club came calling. It almost cost him his career. In 2013, a couple of scouts came over to watch Salah play, and they were so impressed with the stuff they'd seen, they rang up his agent and offered the deal of his life. We would like Salah to come join us at Chelsea. Whoa, there was no way Salah could turn down that kind of move. He hopped on the next flight, but as soon as he arrived in London, Salah knew he'd made a mistake because the coach didn't even trust him. Jose Mourinho said he was too lazy and didn't fit into his plans, so he only made one appearance for Chelsea before being sent out on loan. Salah was determined to make a name for himself, and instead of sitting around and complaining like other dudes, he went to Italy and became a beast at Rome. And my man became so good, Liverpool legit dropped $34 million to get his signature. In his first season at Liverpool, my man was breaking all kinds of records. And it was so incredible that back home in Egypt, they were getting ready to honor him like a god. See, just before the 2018 Champions League final, Salah's former school decided to do something special for their new hero. Because not only did he ball out for Liverpool that season, Salah also scored the goal that took Egypt to the World Cup for the first time since 1990. Damn, he wasn't even born back then. To celebrate, they cooked up something extra special that got Salah very emotional. They legit named a school after him. The school is named the Mohamed Salah Military Industrial Secondary School, and it's located in Salah's hometown of Nagreek. Those lucky kids, man. And I even heard Salah gave him a special gift last year for Christmas. 
the link to Skiller Originals. He even showed him how to subscribe by hitting the button down below. No wonder his folks love him so much. He's a national hero. And it goes beyond secondary schools because just a couple of months later, Sala almost became the freaking president. Hear me out. This was back in 2018. Egypt was having its presidential elections, and while the political dudes were fighting to become the number one guy in the country, Saleh was at home chilling with his family when the breaking news came in that he was leading the race to become president. Huh? Tons of Egyptians in the country were actually voting for Saleh to become the next president. He finished second, but I'm pretty sure he must have been happy to lose this one because he was fighting something else. And this fight was so big, it almost cost him his life. Salah's a devoted Muslim, and even when he's on the pitch and scoring goals, he makes sure the entire world knows about his faith. Salah lives a clean life off the pitch, and apparently his actions were starting to rub off on the people of Liverpool. See, there had been many occasions of religious crimes in the past, targeting Muslims. So now that Salah was there, his life could have been in danger. But according to a report from Stanford University, since Salah joined Liverpool, Crime rates in the city have gone down by over 18%. Even the head of England's first mosque couldn't stop praising Salah. Mo Salah has been an absolute positive role in our community. The very humble act of worship he does on the pitch when he scores a goal has led people to ask what he's doing and what it's about. It's about Islam, and he has taught people a lot of tolerance and understanding about Islam. That's beautiful, and this dude ain't capping. Salah's an all-around nice guy and a superhero, too. I mean, when he isn't scoring goals to save his club or country, he's saving lives. See, back when he was still in Egypt, Salah was on his way back from a match when his phone rang. Hello? And he got the terrible news his family had just been robbed. Straight away, Salah rushed home, and as he bust the door wide open, he realized his dad had already caught the dude that was robbing him, and he was already calling the cops. But instead of Salah cooperating with his dad and sending the thief behind bars and ruining his life, he did something shocking. Dad, release the man. What the fuck? No way! Turns out not only did Salah allow the dude to go before getting arrested by the cops, but he also gave him some money to feed himself and advised him to stop robbing people. What a guy! But the story hasn't always been this sweet when it comes to his fans. Because a few years back, he did something that pissed off an entire country. In 2013, while he was still at Basel, Salah had an amazing season. And on award night, he was legit crowned the best player in the league. Salah was so happy, he immediately rushed onto the stage to pick up his prize. But his excitement made him forget about his background for a minute. Because as he got on the stage, he kissed the female presenter on the cheek and immediately realized he'd made a huge mistake. The thing is, Salah's a Muslim, and the culture doesn't allow guys to be that close with girls who aren't in their family. Salah became a target for Egyptians all around the world, and they kept saying mean stuff to him. Salah felt so bad. He came out and said this, They have spoiled my joy. They forgot the prize and concentrated on the lady kissing me. The video shows I was embarrassed. God knows I did not want that. Anywhere I go in Switzerland, people applaud me. But my home fans insult me. Damn, bro, I can feel your pain. But because Salah's a man of his people, he wanted to make it up to him and decided to throw a special event that was free for everyone who wanted to join. Most ballers love flashy weddings with private guests and crazy locations, but Salah knew his fans were still pissed at him for the whole situation. So, at his wedding with his wife Maggie Sadiq, Salah made the event open to the entire community. People came from all over the world, and there was enough grub for everyone. And to cap it off, he played all the videos on Skiller Originals for him as a special treat. There's no way they could stay mad at him after that. But I think for now, you should be watching this video on 10 disturbing crimes footballers commit. This one turns really dark, man.